Hey, what's up guys? Connor here, Living CDA Property Group. I wanted to just touch base with you and give a little market update for Kootenai County um, housing market for the past month of December 2018. Our office here puts out a little market spotlight and I thought it'd be a valuable piece of information to share with you um, because, you know, one really cool thing about being a real estate agent is, uh, you know, whether you're talking to friends or family or just anyone who knows you're an agent, everyone is interested in one single thing and asks the same question almost every day and it's, hey, how's the market? And um, it's a tough question to answer because you can't answer it one way. It's impossible. Um, the true answer is it depends on who you are. Uh, are you a seller? Are you a buyer? What price range are you? Are you looking or what price range um, is your home worth? Um, and so there's a lot of variables. So I thought I'd uh, give a quick, a quick sneak peek of the market spotlight stats that were put out for December 2018. Uh, let's go, to, go through it and take a look. Thanks, guys. All right, so here's the market spotlight I was talking about uh, for the month of December 2018. So last month, really. Um, and I love this spreadsheet because it breaks it down by price ranges here. Um, and so let's go through it really quickly. Um, if you're looking at the market, it's good to be educated. If you're curious about being a buyer uh, or a seller, um, whether you're going to list a home or you're looking to put in an offer, I always like to go go through this spreadsheet, go through the numbers, and edu educate my clients on uh, what's happening, uh, more specifically to the house that they're looking they're looking at. So if you go on the left hand column here, it's the price ranges on the far far left, um, one fifty to one ninety nine nine. As you can see, um, number of active listings thirty uh, to eight pending. There's one point four months of inventory as we go right on the columns. Um, one point four months of inventory means it's definitely uh, still a buyer's market there. I mean a seller's market. Excuse me. Um, and then if you go down to 200 to 249.9, that price range, I like to scroll over and look at, you know, what what are homes selling for versus what they're listed for, and uh, you'll see um, it's a 99.7% of a sold to a list price percentage, meaning houses in that price range are definitely selling um, right about at what they're listed for, um, and that pretty much goes for most of the columns. Um, uh, most of the price ranges 250 to 299.9 there's 119 active listings 26 of them are currently pending um, there are 1.9 months of inventory so those those first uh, rows really you know 150 anything under 150 is kind of tough right now if you if you've been looking there's not much to even uh, not many dis decent listings under 150 at the moment but 150 even up to you know four to five hundred thousand, um, it looks like it's still a pretty pretty solid seller's market right now in terms of uh, months of inventory and uh, list to sold price percentage. Um, the funny thing or the curious thing is if you go down even farther on the rows, once you start hitting you know seven hundred and up up to the million plus, uh, things you know start to change. Um, in terms of month of inventory, 700, uh, you know, it's 9.8, and then it jumps up from 800 and 999. It's 22 months of inventory, and then a million plus as well. A million plus right now, if you look on the the second row, um, 109 active listings right now, and there is currently one pending. So that shows you the extreme difference of the market versus the price points. So like when I, like I was saying, when people ask, you know, how's the market, it, it really does depend. Right now, currently, it looks like if you're, you know, four to 500 or below, it's still a pretty strong seller's market. Um, you know, appreciation of price has definitely been declining, I think a little bit, and will continue to do so in 2019 versus the last two, three years. But if you're, you know, a luxury home, buyer if you're in the market to buy a home 700 or plus it's uh actually a very good time for you because because there's a lot of um active listings versus uh versus uh traffic and versus competition of buyers it looks like so those are the numbers again i like to just show the details here and break it down by price point so so my clients really know what we're talking about and it's just not just a blanket statement of yeah the market's great so um if you're curious and want 
more details on and uh, information like this, you know, reach out to me, messages, message us, or uh, give me a call, and we'd love to help you out. Thanks, guys.